All right, we're back and we're on turn 21. Now, I did make a little bit of a mistake here on turn 20. I just want to rectify that real quick. Uh, there, on the order of battle, turn 20, I was supposed to bring in uh, these units here. A replacement is available, and uh, this unit here. I forgot to bring them in, so I'm going to make fix that mistake right now and just bring them down here in the port of Tripoli. All right, so there they were brought in on turn 20, and they just sat there. So let's move on. Let's move forward. We did roll for initiative, and the Axis got the initiative for turn 21. So what do they get? Well, they do get a Stuka that they can use. That's good. What else? Nothing else, but we do get to roll on the Axis Infantry Replacement Fuel Table because it is the beginning of a new month. This is October, and we are in... The, the Axis still has the tactical advantage, and we are still in Segment D. So let's roll for our fuel and replacement. And I rolled a one. We're in segment D. Oh, that's not bad. One Italian unit replacement and one German replacement. Also six fuel. We're already at six fuel. We can only go up to 10. We really haven't had any problems with the fuel so far for the Axis. So what are we going to do? Well, we can... We check for reinforcements, they each get one. So I'm gonna bring, I've got an Italian reinforcement and Ger a German reinforcement. I think we're going to try to bring them in at Benghazi. So let's roll on the Benghazi port chart to see, let's start with the Italian unit first. And I got a one, which it means it's a success. So they come in and now we'll roll for the German unit and another one. Wow, a lot of ones. So both replacement units have come in there. Let's look real quick, see if we can utilize any of these. We've got a bunch of replacement units sitting here in Tobruk. And for the units that are out there right now, they're all full strength. So, all right, I'm going to do a strategic movement with these units that we brought in on turn 20 that are still over here in the port of Tripoli. I'm going to use strategic movement. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can go double. I'm going to go seven. We're going to go eight here nine ten eleven twelve We're gonna go twelve strategic movement I'm not in a zone of control that is gonna cost me a fuel all right, these guys, these Stukas, what am I going to do? I need to start trying to get some points off the board. These are replacements. I could actually, if I could take these guys out here. That might be a goal. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Twenty-five to eleven. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and attack these guys here. I'm gonna move one here. I'm going to move one here. to keep these guys into Brook. 
these guys are coming up from behind. And I'm going to, it's not going to matter, but I'm going to put my, I'm going to do an interdiction with my Stukas on this allied force right there. All right, so I've moved reinforcements. I'm not going to do any minefields this turn. Do some combat. What do we have here? 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, and 11. So we've got 26 to 11. All right, that's only 2 to 1. I do have tactical advantage. I just want to push these guys back if I can. All right, let's see what happens. It's just two to one. And I rolled one. Attacker, two retreats. Defender, one retreats. I think I'm going to use my tactical advantage to roll that again. Man, I've rolled a bunch of ones right in a row. All right, here we go. Here's a four. Two to one, a four. Ah! Attacker loses one. We use one from our headquarters. But no retreat or anything, which is good. All right, I think that's the end of uh, turn 21 for the Axis. Let's move on to the Allied. Allies get to get two replacements. Let's bring in, what do we need? We've got a ton of replacements. We'll bring in some infantry replacements is what it is. Two down here in Alexandria. So I'm not going to choose to uh, draw any mines this turn. So let's move some of these guys. Let's move some reinforcements up. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna leave them back here. I don't want them to get, uh, they can get overrun very easily. So I don't wanna get too many stacked up together. All right, so what else are we gonna do here? These guys, these guys can come off the ridge. I can't move completely out of their way or they're just going to start running down the road. I think I'm just going to exchange these guys a little bit. They're going to, these guys here are going to go one, two, these guys are going to come over here, one, to their inner three, they can only move half with the interdiction. So that guy was used pretty good. These guys are gonna go one, two, three, four. These guys are gonna move here. And these guys are going to move up here on the ridge. All right, so we're going to have a battle over here. 
We got the 9th, the 18th, 7th, the 1st. There's 6, 7, 8, 12, 15 to 4. Man, if I had one more. He just moved one. What if I go one, two, three, four? All right, now I've got three, six, nine, eleven, fifteen, eighteen to four. So that's four to one. And I have tactical advantage if I want it. Let's do that. Let's do four to one. That's pretty good. And I roll a three on the four to one. The three is attacker loses one step, defender loses one step and retreats. That's fine. All right, I'm gonna lose one step from the attacker, one step from the defender, and then they retreat they'll retreat one two we'll go up there all right not bad let's move on turn 22 move to 22 let's roll for initiative and it's a one so the allies get the initiative. All right. Well, let's look on the, their order of battle chart. And on turn 22, they do get, oh, we got to lose one though. They do get the 70th comes in. But they also have to lose uh, the 9th, which was right here. And they've already been knocked down a bit. They will come in back in on turn 38, which is down here. And they will come back in at their 6-6. Six, six. All right, the ninth is right here. They'll come back in at 6-6. Six, Six on the 38th turn. Put these back over here. All right, let's move these guys. One, two, three, four. Five. You're gonna move right here. Six. I got a, I got a decent wall here, protecting these guys a little bit. But I don't like them up there. I'm gonna move them back a little. I'm gonna move them back here. Or wait, one, two, three. Come down three, four, five through that pass. He's going to join them there. Well, I can move these. I can't go up on, I'm on this plateau. Alright, I'm going to go after this, these units over here. These guys are going to join up with this unit here, 32nd, and move one onto this ridge. It's going to stop. This unit over here is going to move one, two over here. Now, this unit is on a ridge, but since this, this stack here is on a plateau, 
as long as one unit is on a plateau, they don't get their double defense. So that's going to take care of that. That's the movement. I'm going to leave these guys here, this wall here. And that's it. We're going to have a fight. Let's do combat here. What do we have? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen to two. So that's seven to one. That's the highest uh, column on the res combat result table. So that's good. Seven to one. Let's take these guys out. And it's a four. Seven to one. Four is defender eliminated. We're going to eliminate that unit and that replacement unit. And we can move a unit in. Let's move that unit in there. All right, that was pretty good. Uh-oh, we're doing pretty good now. All right, let's go on to the axis, turn the axis. Do get one Stuka this turn. It's the 22nd. They don't get anything else. This is not looking good for the Axis right now. But these guys aren't too strong. This guy definitely isn't. Let's move these replacements first. Let's move them up a little bit. Oh, one, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, two. They're just going to hang out there. They don't want to get too close. They don't want to get beat up. All right, let's put the Stuka on... Here. I'm just trying to take out this unit. So Stuka on there. These guys are gonna move in here. And these guys are gonna move in here. What do we have? Nine. Fourteen. And eleven. So I've got twenty-five, twenty-six. They're gonna attack this unit here, twenty-six to four. That's a six to one. It's not a bad chart. Let's roll the dice. Oh, it's a one, not good. Six to one, a one. The attacker loses two, defender loses one. Oh, that sugar didn't really help that much. <clears throat> defender loses one, attacker loses two. Lose one here, and this Italian unit is going to lose one. That wasn't a good roll. Nobody has to retreat though. Oh, geez. Well, end of turn 22. We're moving right along now. 23. Let's roll for initiative. And it's a two. Allies keep the initiative. I think I forgot to roll for initiative last turn. Ah, that's okay. It's just a friendly game. All right. So, still a tactical advantage, though. And we will get to roll on this chart. All right. So, it's the Allies' turn. They will get, finally, they're going to get a Hurricane to use. They also get... On turn 23, we get a replacement and a unit that come on here. Cannot replace a unit that's in a zone of control. Let's do that. Let's let's uh let's do a little retreat here. 
These guys are a little too strong for me. They're on a ridge. Alright, these guys are going to go one. Two. These guys are going to go one, two. And these guys are going to go one right there. Now I'm going to send these guys in here to replenish them. my hurricane I can use. I think we're going to go over here and we're going to attack to Brook. So I'm going to put my hurricane on there. We're going to move there and we're going to move there. All right. What do we have? Let's do this battle here. We've got four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen to six because they get double defense for being in the port. Sixteen to six. That's just two to one. All right, let's do it. I've got tactical advantage. Two to one. You know what? I'm going to try to push it. I'm going to use maximum effort. All right, let's roll on the maximum effort chart first. We need a one or a two to succeed. I've been rolling a bunch of ones and I rolled a two, so it succeeds. Well, let's see what happens. So I got maximum effort. So maximum effort does um, shift it two places to the right. So now we're at four to one and I still have the tactical advantage. All right, let's roll four to one. And I rolled a six. That's awesome. Destroyed. They're gone. Nice. Well, you know what they can do? They can do determined defense. They can try. Oh, it just says retreat result is. No, they can't do it. All right, they can't even do determined defense because all it does is help with their retreat. So they were destroyed. My hurricane helped. And now we can move a unit into Tobruk. This is awesome. Three, six, seven, eight, four, five, six, seven. That's Monty. Monty's headquarter. He's going to move in there. We now own Tobruk. That is awesome. They're in trouble now. We still, so now we, we just have to, of course, be able to do um, our supply, which we can easily. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's fine. I'm going to move these guys. Well, we already did battle, so I'm not going to move them. I screwed up. Should have used them. But I got maximum effort. That That is huge. Now it's the Axis turn. They do get a Stuka. Now they're going to have to go back and try to retake to Brook. But one thing now, first, they do get a Stuka, but they also get to roll 
on the fuel chart. We are still in segment D. And it's a three. Three gets them two fuel. They can get one. They're already at nine. No replacements. And they don't get anything on turn 23. Wow, they're in trouble now. What are we going to do? So they just have to trace one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's fine. They're not going to have any problems tracing supply back to Benghazi. But they're hurting, they're hurting unit. I think we're going to come down here. We're going to put the Stuka on this unit here. We're going to go one, two through the pass. And we're going to go one, two onto the ridge. And we're going to attack this unit here. What do we have? 10, 11, 14. 23, 24. 24 to 11. 2 to 1. Let's see what happens. 2 to 1. And roll to 4. 2 to 1. And attacker loses 1. Alright. We're going to lose this Italian unit here. Duca was used. All right. I just didn't want them to, I was thinking of going over here, but then they were gonna just get surrounded. So that's the end of the axis turn. Let's move down to turn 24. Let's roll for initiative. And it stays with the allies again. The Allies do get a hurricane on this turn, and that's it. They still have tactical advantage. All right. Now I, I can trace um, supply. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, back to Benghazi. We're good. They... All right, so the Allies get a hurricane. Uh, I could. could come down here and try to get these guys let me see what my movement is here one two three four five six one two three four yeah let's come down here and circle this guy Circle the wagons. This guy can come out, out here too. He can come off that ridge. Let's try to destroy this unit here. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Well, no, that's one. They're on the road. One, two, three, four. These guys, actually, what do I have here so far? Seven, 11, 18, 22, 23 if I use this. Yeah, let's move these guys. They come off the ridge, one, two, three, 
four. All right, now let's let's put my the hurricane on this dude. It's not looking good for the axis right now. Eleven. 18, 22, 31 to 9, 3 to 1, 3 to 1 and I have tactical advantage. All right, let's do it. 3 to 1, tactical advantage. Oh, I rolled a 1 again. How many 1s am I going to roll? Yeah, no, I'm going to use tactical advantage. <laughs> it's going to go back over to the axis. Let's re-roll this. You got to be kidding me. I, I'm going to have to look back at this video and see how many times I've rolled one since we started turn 21. That is ridiculous. Wow, three to one and I rolled a one. Attacker loses two and has to retreat. Defender loses one and has to retreat. What? Luckily, they have a friendly unit there. I'll read the rules for that. They can retreat through a friendly unit, even if it's in the zone of control, but I, they may have to lose a step. Let me see. Retreat. Units retreat one to two hexes at the owner's discretion. Result requiring defender to retreat two hexes if it's got that. So he has to retreat two unless the attacker also receives a retreat re result, which I did. So he doesn't have to retreat two, <clears throat> but he's going to have to because of stacking limits. Units must retreat in the direction of their supply lines if possible. All units need not retreat the same number of hexes. Units retreat individual units cannot be retreated in excess of stacking limitations into enemy zones of control, into a minefield, hex, or off the map. These units are destroyed instead. Friendly units do not negate enemy zone of control for retreat purposes. What? Except optional case. 18.1. Hmm. What does 18.1 say? 18.1 says friendly friendly units and retreats. Friendly units, but not their zone of controls, partially negate enemy zone of control for purpose of retreat only. Units which retreat through enemy zone of control that have friendly units in them suffer an additional step loss instead of being automatically destroyed. That's what I thought. So they can retreat. They'll lose a, um, a step. Let me see right, right here. First off, geez. So they lose one and they have to retreat. Defender loses one, has to retreat one, two, but since they did retreat through a zone of control, but they had a friendly unit, they have to lose another step. So where is that? Yep, so they're going to lose another step down to 5-7. Wow, that, that hurt. All right. I can move in. Let's move these guys in. Well, they're on a plateau right now. Doesn't matter. Let's move these guys in. Wow, it is not. Oh, now the, the attacker has to lose two and retreat. Oh, so they're not moving in. Lose two. I can pick from any one of these. I'll lose, ooh. I'll lose one from here, from the fourth. I'll lose here from the seventh. We have to retreat. I'm going to retreat. 
one here. I retreat one here. Retreat one here. Retreat one here. We have to retreat back towards our uh, line. Hmm. Well, that sucked. Oh, I wanted to move them. I forgot to move them again. That's all right. Again, we're just having fun. My hurricane helped out a little bit. I did lose tactical advantage, but now it is the Axis turn. Now they do get a Stuka. And on turn 24, they do get some reinforcement. Well, it's replacement. Let's try to bring them in here in Benghazi. Six, it's sunk. Replacement eliminated. Great. Nothing is going well right now for the Axis team. Wow, and my replacements oh, are not going to help me out. Well, I don't have any Italian units left. What are we going to do? I can move over here, though. Start moving down that line. But they're going to get wiped out if I do that. Man, not looking good for the Axis. We may have to go back here and try to take Tabruk back. Man, that would be a huge setback. Then we're just going to get surrounded. And we'd have to go through that minefield. Holy crap. We've got to retreat. We gotta move back. They're just gonna move on to that plateau though. I think we've gotta to live to fight another day. But he's on a ridge, so he can't do much. He can't come off the ridge. We've got a damn mine there. Holy crap. I want to go back to Tobruk. I'm going to try to go back to Tobruk. This is a risky move. I got to go through that, that minefield. So this unit's going to go, Jesus. This is going to hurt. We're going to put the Stuka on here. We're going to go, bam. We're going to flip over this mine. And it says unit delayed. The unit can't move any further, but that's fine. We're in a zone of control anyways. You're supposed to place that on there, indicating that the unit is delayed and can't move any further. And then this one's going to come off the ridge one, and he's going to go two. And, oh, crap, another unit delayed. I wanted to get here and attack there. That's a one-to-one. -one. All right, we're not gonna attack with that unit right there. They can attack me. However, it's just it's just gonna be a one-to-one. -one. All right, I'm just going. I'm not gonna put that Stuka on there. I'm gonna put the Stuka as an interdiction. Oh, on these guys here, so they can only move half. Oh, that kind of sucked. Unit delay, that, that's kind of shitty. So they had to stop. They go back into the bowl. And that's it for the Axis turn. That's turn 24. Moving on, turn 25.
Let's roll for initiative. Four. When Rommel's on, it's a DRM is, is one. So that's plus one. So that's cool. So Rommel's still on there. So that's a plus one DRM. So that moves us to a five, which means it goes to uh, access. Good initiative. All right. They're frozen for their next turn. I do get two more Stukas. And we get to roll on the fuel replacement. My fuel is fine, but let's see if we can get some in, some access infantry replacements. And they do have the tactical advantage. But now we are into segment E. Let's roll and see what we get. And of course, I don't roll a one, I roll a five, which just gives me one fuel. I'm already at 10, so nothing. Great. All right. Now... I'm going to put these two Stukas on to Brook, and I'm going to try to take to Brook back over. Well, first, let's do some movement here. Oh, I can't. Oh, I can't get there. Gosh darn it. Well, I could. Let me see what I can do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can do a strategic movement. Unfortunately, I don't have any Italian units. So let's move these guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fine, we'll flip him over. Move that replacement. All right, these guys are going to move in here. And we're going to attack to Brook. See what we have five, six, seven. And 9, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, is 14. Yeah, it's 1 to 1. I could try to do maximum effort. I've been rolling a lot of 1s. I do have tactical advantage. Let's try it. Let's try maximum effort on Tabrook. We're going to attack him. And it's a five. I'm going to use my tactical advantage to re-roll that. And I roll six. So tactical advantage does not work. That sucks. Our maximum effort shifts one column to the left plus one attacker step loss. So it's going to go from one to one to one to two. Let's roll that. A four. One of two, four is attacker, one in retreat, so I lose two in retreat. Defender loses one. Well, let's get rid of that one. Well, no, let's flip Monty over. Save that. Stukas were used. Attacker, so attacker is going to lose two in retreat. One, two, and retreat. He's going to retreat there. The attacker did lose one, so I don't have to retreat two. I'm going to retreat one. Two. With that one. Man. Not 
not good. Now the Axis, or the, I mean the Allies, they are going to get a Hurricane. These guys can still only move one, a half. And um, on turn 25, they do get the second. Oh, he's still sitting over there. That's okay. We can join up. But we also have to bring back the fifth. All right, the fifth comes back in on turn 34. Let's move these guys. One, two, three, four, five. And drop them off. Six. Right there. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They can only move half, they can move three. One, two, three. Put the hurricane on there. off the ridge. One, two, three, four. Five. These guys are gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh wait, before I move these guys are gonna get bumped back up. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. These guys are gonna go here and bump them back up. Two, three, four, five, six. Ah, I can't get there. They're gonna go all out here. Oh, they can go there though. Nope, they've got two. Darn it. Gonna do that. They're gonna go up here. One, two, three, four. Still have a stacking unit there. Guard that road. Alright. That Stuco was used. Let's see what we have here. Four. We got eleven. Total thirteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 26, 27 to 3. That's 9 to 1, but I can't do an overrun with that. Can't go higher than 9 to 1, so it's 8 to 1. 8 to 1, and I have tactical advantage. I think we're going to wipe these guys out. Let's roll on the 8 to 1, and I rolled a 5, which is destroyed. Hurricane helped. You are destroyed. That's the 15th. Alright, what else we have? We can move in. We 
goes on there then. We're gonna go on to th turn 26. Let's roll for initiative. We're getting close to wiping them off the table. And I rolled a one. So initiative is with the allies. They do get one hurricane to utilize this turn. Yeah, I think we're gonna surround this guy and, and destroy him. See how we can do that. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Whoops. One, two, three, four, five. And these guys are, are going to come out of Tobruk. They're going to leave the headquarters in there. We're going to destroy this guy. He's done. The game's going to be over. The hurricane. Because he's not going to be able to retreat. So I've got three, I've got seven, eight, and 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21, 22, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 35, 36, 37, 41, two, 13, 41 to 13, but we do have, he is on a ridge, but we do have at least one unit on a plateau, so he doesn't get double, so it's three to one. Let me do that math again, four, five, six, 10, 14. 22, 29, 33, 34, 35, 36, 40, 41, yeah, 41 to 13, 3 to 1, and I have tactical advantage, it's, it's a moot point, 3 to 1, and I rolled a six. Defender loses three and retreats. One, two, three. And he has to retreat and he's surrounded. He can't retreat into his own uh, control. He is destroyed. <clears throat> the game's over. Wow, I probably screwed that up royally for the Axis. Got overextended, didn't take my time, but they really don't have a lot of res resources. Um, they really have to try to force their way over here to, you know, the East Coast and Port Alexandria, get 12 points off. Um, they got close in the in the real real life. They got close, but they did lose, ultimately lose um, the battle. But I think there's they're just they're overwhelmed. The uh, the units for their allies are just so much more. Now, if we get into yeah, even. You just don't have as many Germans and Italians. The Italians are weak to begin with, so the Italians didn't do well, and the Germans really didn't help out too much. I mean, it hurt a lot when the Panzers came in, when Rommel came in, that helped, of course, but still, uh, they just don't have a lot. We didn't even get, I mean, turn 42, they could get some paratroopers to come in, but uh, still not a lot. E even just looking at their order of battle here, uh, 26th 
they get a, a tank. Um, but these are all replacements. These are not very strong units. Not much left for the Axis. So the Axis have to make a blitz and a run for, for the, the East a lot faster, as soon as possible. And we're on 26, we defeated them on turn 26. And even in turn 28, they're only getting replacements. They're not getting reinforcements. Even in turn 32, they're getting replacements. They're not getting reinforcements. So I've got one unit that can come in on 26 and he would have to wait all the way till turn 40 to get another unit. Yeah, I'm calling it. Axis lose. Game's over. Allies win. Allies win. It was fun as hell. Um, I'll do a little talk about this and um, that's it. We'll move on to another game. I think I'm, I'm going to do a video um, of a game haul that I got when I went this past week to Dice Tower Convention, Dice Tower Con East in Orlando. Bought a bunch of new uh, board games and a war game. An old Avalon Hill game. It's great. So I'm going to show that off in my next video, and then we're going to start playing. Got some games I want to play, you know, from that uh, convention that I went to. But anyways, that was it. Um, the actual mines didn't hurt too much. We'll talk about it. But uh, they just delayed, but that, that's okay. All right, and look at all these replacements we have on the board here. I mean, it's just, uh, it's just too much. It's just overwhelming for the Axis in this game all right well thanks for watching and i'll meet you at the table where we can uh, just discuss my feelings of the game all right thanks all right well that ended quite abruptly um didn't expect that really but i guess it was inevitable uh if you play the game uh it i mean the Allies are really have the upper hand right from the beginning. Now, I'm going to say I'm not the best war game player in the world. I haven't played a lot of Hex Encounter war games recently. I mean, it's been many years, really. I'm just trying to get back into it. I have mostly for many years been playing board games. Although, when I started back in the 70s, that's pretty much all I played was, was war games, hex encounter games. The good old days, Avalon Hill and SBI. But I'm trying to get back into it. So please bear with me. Uh, I know I did a lot of things wrong. I made a lot of not only tactical mistakes, tr strategic mistakes, even rules mistakes. Sometimes I seem to do a rule correctly one time and incorrectly the next time. I'm still working through it. I'm still trying, but I got to say, I really had a blast, but I, I just don't see, at least at my level of play currently, I don't see how the Axis really had a chance. Unfortunately, at the beginning of the game, through the order of, the, of battle, the Italian forces are really outmatched by the Allied forces. And if the Allied forces make a blitz, which I tried to do for Tobruk early, you can really decimate a lot of the Italian forces before the Germans come on board in turn five, when Rommel comes on. When he comes on the board, uh, then it starts evening out a little bit. And I was able to do a little bit of a tug of tug and you know, uh, uh, what am I want to say? Tug of war type of thing, back and forth over here be between Bardia and Tobruk um, along that road. But just ultimately, the the number of units 
after you've pretty much decimated all the Italians, doesn't leave the Germans a lot to fight back with. Now, their, their units, of course, are, are much stronger than the Italians, but by that point, uh, if, you watch, if you watch through the whole videos, the series of videos, thank you very much. I'm sure that maybe there's a handful of you that did, but you can see how just the Allies just kept piling on, piling on, piling on. Now, I made some mistakes, I'm sure. I was really worried that I had to get, you know, those German Axis forces off the east part of the board. Um, maybe if I had, in more plays I'll probably do better, but maybe if I could have split them up a little bit more so that it made the Allied forces dedicate, you know, some of their forces down south but I was really worried about the supply line. Now, the, I never really had a problem with the fuel, but you know because I was mostly focusing on the road travel, but maybe I, I should have split them up differently. You know, like I said, in, in, in more plays, it probably would be better. I'll, I'll do, I would do better on these. I'm just getting into it, like I said, but man, did I have a blast. This board is awesome. This mounted board, is, I think, is beautiful. The tables that are on the board are very easy to read. Uh, much of the, the rules are really kind of on the board. Um, I don't know. I, I really enjoyed myself. I, I know I made mistakes. Please don't beat me up too bad. Um, but I really enjoyed myself. Again, I, I'm, I'm repeating myself, but the game is great. The, the box is good. The back of the box here. The rules are, I, well, let me see. On the back of the box, does it say? It says, um, suitability for solitaire, very high. Average time of play, three to four hours. Probably took me longer. It's not easy to uh, film a game as you're playing and trying to kind of be at least, you know, explaining what I'm doing as I'm going and not just being too fast and, and too silent. Um, I hate those games when they just go so fast you, you can't even really see what they're doing. Um, but I don't think the rules are very heavy at all. The complexity on the back of the box says medium. I would even go medium to low uh, in between there. Not a bad game for sure for a, a beginner, somebody getting into war games. Uh, not a bad game for people like me who, who just cannot find another person locally in my area that would sit down for hours and play a hex encounter war game with me. So the high solo suitability is good. But yeah, if you just really want to dive into, you know, playing these games by yourself, very easy to do, very accessible. Um, I, I, I had a great time, like I said. I would suggest it. I do like this theater of battle, um, the African campaign, the Rommel, all, all that. I One of these days I'll probably get, you know, Rommel, Commander, or whatever, by DVG games, maybe, and, and do a solo play of that. I've got a couple more games coming in that I've ordered. I've got several, of course, still on my shelf that I haven't played. Um, and then I bought a ton of games, uh, board games, at Dice Tower Convention, which I just got back from. But, um, yeah, you can see how you make one little mistake. I overextended myself, was able to sweep around with the Allies, take to Brook, once I took to Brook, I could just squeeze and, and the game was over. So it ended in 26 turns. Uh, you can play up to 50, but I didn't get that far, unfortunately. But uh, all right. Thank you so much for watching me. I do suggest it specifically if you are new to Hex Encounter games. I'd love to see more people getting into this hobby. Most of my friends, if I can get them to play, it's a, it's a board game, not a war game. But uh, hopefully we'll do some more. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Totally enjoyed it. Thank you. Thank you. We'll do some more. All right. Have a good day. Bye.